Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Here we have been working on different labs for AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. Uh, we have already started and did two videos for this particular section for implementing virtual networking. In the first lab, we created and configured a virtual network. In the second video, we deployed virtual machines using the template file. This video, I'm going to cover the configure private and public IP address of Azure VMs that we have deployed in the previous lab. So let's get to it. So task three is what we're going to do. So in this task, you'll configure static assignments of public and private IP address assigned to network interfaces of Azure virtual machines. They have given a note, private and public addresses are actually assigned to the network interfaces, which in turn are attached to Azure virtual machines. However, it is fairly common to refer to the IP addresses assigned to the Azure VMs instead. So as a common practice, if we ask for the IP address of your machine, we don't say, hey, what is the IP address that is associated with the, with the virtual, uh, with the network card of your machine? We don't do that. So just remember that. So what we need to do in the first step is to go to the Azure portal, go to the resource group and go to the select the resource group. So let's go to our Azure environment. Uh, so let's go over here resource groups and I'm just going to charge for that resource group and here is the resource group that we, we can select it now so that th this has all the deployments that we have done in the previous lab. Once we are in here in the list of resources click on that particular VNet. So this VNet is this one so let's I'm going to just double check and just search for it and click on this one that's the only vnet that's available to us so we have done with this step on this vnet review the connected devices section and verify there are two network interfaces that are attached so like in any virtual network you have this settings played under that you have the connected device if you click on that one it's going to tell you what are the network cards that are associated with this particular virtual network and now we have verified uh, NIC 0 is associated NIC 1 and notice NIC 0 is associated with subnet 0 and NIC 1 is associated with subnet 1. So we have verified that step as well. Now click on that particular NIC and click on IP configuration. So let's click on this NIC. Let's click on that particular NIC and once that uh, network card is selected click on the IP configuration so we have done this step note verify the IP IP config 1 is currently set up with a dynamic private IP address so let's see dynamic pipe yeah so right now it says 10.40.04 and dynamic so that's what it's telling us just note that this is how when you deployed it's it's been configured so we have looked at that uh, in the IP configuration click IP config 1 so here we're gonna click on the IP config 1 and here I have some some uh, configuration options on the IP config let's set assignment to static and leave the default value of IP address set to 10.40.04 so pub assignment from dynamic, dynamic I'm gonna move to static but whatever address was assigned, I want to keep that. That's what it's uh, as per the lab requirement. Uh, on the IP config one blade in the public IP setting, select associate and then click IP address configure required section. So here we're going to click on the associate and IP address configure required settings. We're going to click on that one. And once we click on that one, we have done with six, step seven. On the choose public IP address blade, click plus create now and create a new public IP address with the following setting. So in here, you just create a new one and let's see the name they want to use. PIP is the public IP zero is what uh, Microsoft lab want us to use. So let's use that one. Uh, SKU, uh, they're asking us to use standard and I'm gonna say okay so now I think this part is configured and save the blade so remember to save the blade so now 
we have changed the dynamic assist assignment to a static assignment we kept that private IP address uh, and the public IP address we are creating something and Microsoft is probably creating the new public IP address for us as we speak so let's go back to the lab and navigate back to this network blade and repeat the same step of IP assignments with the nick one so let's while this is happening let's go back to our um, our network uh, virtual network and go to the uh, another nick that we have go to ip configuration and right now it's uh, dynamic so click on the ip config one uh, right now make it static make keep whatever IP address was there make it associate configure record setting create new and in this time uh, we gotta change it to standard I just need a new name most likely navigate resources from version no public address here's the name so we gotta get the name put it in here and say ok so let's see I got this one associated with the public address I got a static assignment of this private IP address as well so now I can save this so that will take care of this uh, this task as well so step 10 is also done so now we get back to the resource group blade in the resources click on the VM0 and uh, from the VM0 note the public address entry so now hopefully the first one assignment is done and yeah it is done created a new public ad IP address for the first VM and is working on the next one so from here we can go back to the resource group okay so resource group and under this resource group we should have the VM0 and this VM0 now should have a public address assigned to it Okay, and right there is my public address so just copy this to clipboard and I'm just gonna save it over here and let's go back to our lab so navigate to public address entry so we have done that and then it's also navigate to other VM and get that public address you will need both IP address in the last task of this of this lab so let's see if that deployment is also done yeah it's also done so we can go back to our resource group go to vm vm1 where is vm1 vm1 is here and we're gonna get the public address uh, public ip address of that one as well so i'll just say this is um, VM0 and I'm just gonna write down VM1 alright so in this just to recap in this lab what we have done we have uh, configured our network network cards we have changed the dynamic IP assignment to to static and we have assigned public IP addresses to both of our virtual machines uh, this is the end of this video in the next video we're going to work on configuring network security groups and we'll explain why that is very much important okay thank you for watching this video if you like it please uh, give me a like thumbs up share with friends and subscribe good luck with the exam